so let's take a look at plotly package in our language so basically this package is for visualizing your data so your data can be in any form you get to visualize it in plotly visualized library right so the thing is first we have to install this package right so you can use install packages options from our studio right if i try to install this Let's hope it's installed properly right so it has a bunch of other dependencies like as you can see curl sys and few others and once you install it you will be able to find it within your packages right just type in plot and it will show you plotly right so that's one package you can also and other dependency based on the type of data you wish to fetch right so some people usually use tallyverse deployer uh, along with plotly for their own data and visualization needs so let's start with some plots so we'll take a look at few plots so you get the idea how to use plotly right so let's call library plotly right and once you do that it will say loading required package ggplot plotly right and it will show you plotly was built under our version 4.1.3 so some of the output may not come out considering we have 4.1.2 and we may need to update right so let's ignore that part for now and let's see if we can call our scatter plot so we have a uh, data say iris right so i'm going to get that and let's see if i want to output from plotly so plot underscore lee and then within that function it takes let's say iris and then x equals to then hyphen of sepal length right and then y equals to can hyphen off uh, simple sorry uh, we should be doing width and length right so let's go with that so simple length right so width to length x y right and then let's save that next thing would be we have to uh, call for layout and within layout we pass this data p and then data set to null right so it takes two parameters within which we already passed p and on right hand side you will find that your scatter plot for that particular iris data is plotted and here you see it will ask you no trace type specified so that will go under one of the warning or simpler message what is not specified right so another thing is this is scatter plot that you can view from this viewer tab next thing uh, you if you're using rgui it will also open respective uh, your plot viewer right so now what we can do is we can draw one bar chart so let's hope we draw first the vertical and then horizontal right so figured and then plot underscore lee and let's see what are some of the parameters we can take right so let's try and draw a few uh, x and y values so let's say mango apple and then let's see banana right so that's the data for x then for y we will go with its respective values 10 20 30 right so x y and then we have to also pass in some name right so let's see this is the plot for fruits right and then type we have to specify as 
bar right and then hit enter and then if I call for this particular figure it should appear in viewer and you see banana apple mango right and it shows that from x and y axis with its respective value which is the 20 the 10 and then 30 right so that was our bar chart so we already cover scatter then comes the pie chart so the pie chart is interesting because we have to add some values and we get to select that and it should also show us that within this tooltip type also in our pie chart right so let's first try and create a label that we want to make it appear within our tooltip which is for let's say mango let's again go with the same example right so mango then see watermelon then see apple right uh, this time let's go with four options right so we have our label ready then we add values for these labels right so 10 20 30 40 right so these are four values right so label and values and then figure right and plot underscore lee right then we have type equals to let's say pi right so this is where we mention that our plot is basically a pie chart or pie plot then we add labels equal to label right so the one that we specify here so next thing is also pointing values values equals to values right and then uh, the text info right text info right here we specify label plus values or say percent within that text that appears then comes the inside text orientation which is going to be radial because it will be appear within our pie chart right so let's see if everything is correct right so now if I go with the figure here you go you have apple orange watermelon and your mango in their respective uh, boxes on the right hand side right and when you take the mouse over each of these slices it will show you the percentage as well so that's your pie chart right so there are a few more charts that i wish to cover so let's clear the console again now here let's say if i want to use that bar chart but this time i want to make use of orientation in a horizontal way right so what i will do i will create another figure right and this time again plot underscore d right within that x equals to c and then uh, 20 15 and then 25 right you can go with any other value of your choice so it's not like you have to go with the mine right and then uh, we have value for our c uh, let's see x and y so this is y that sh that is showing some values for fruit right so apple this time and then let's see orange so let's go with the three for now and let's not stretch it any further right so type here we choose bar and the important part which is orientation right so that's the difference between previous bar, ch uh, bar chart and the current one which is going to be horizontal right so let's just take that part right and if I pass this now hopefully we have all commas correct right so yeah and now if I go with the figure here you see horizontal bar chart
few more chart we can cover uh, let's go with something like histogram so they're like your bar chart uh, and shows uh, data in some timeline sort of data or series of data in that case histogram is often used so figure plot underscore lee notice that the plot lee makes use of one function plot underscore lee and it tries to just pass on the type of uh, plot or chart it is right based on your data so r is let's say r norm right so it's distribution of data basically and we are passing type which is going to be histogram right so let's see if i have this value and if i try to run figure it should show me the histogram for this particular data right so this is our histogram next we can also take a look at few different type of plots let's say like contour plot then heat map and isosurface isosurface is going to be a lot complicated even to get it properly so let's start with heat map right so let's say figure and then plot underscore lee and then z set to some data rs or volcano let's go with volcano because it's heat map and we get to uh, check the variation for that data something we can't have with our iris data or empty cars so let's go with that and here you see the data from that volcano data this is plotted on this particular heat map so if i clear this next thing we can do is uh, we can draw contour plot and then let's see for figure plot underscore lee let's try and draw uh, data from again volcano right so contour plot and type set to contour right and if i run figure here you see contour plot so this comes in handy not just for volcano but various types of other plots uh, like your uh, population distribution etc as well okay now what we will do is we will try and create a new iso surface figure and for that we will try and create plotly method and then we pass on few parameters like its type which is going to be iso surface right and then i will try to paste in the set of values that i have for it right so xyz and then i will also add value let's say something like within our bracket one two three four five six seven eight eight right so we have values and we also have to mention iso minimum and maximum so iso minimum has to be on two iso maximum has to be on let's say six right and we store that then we call for figure and we get our iso surface so this is one of the plot that i wish to finish the discussion with so this is our iso surface that we drawn from plotly